Hello friends, welcome back to Technique. In this video, we'll be doing uh, the speed test comparison of uh, the OnePlus Nord 5 with the OnePlus Nord 4. Now, there are a performance upgrade uh, in the Nord 5. There is also a downgrade as well. So, what are these uh, upgrades and downgrades? How is the performance? That's what we're going to talk about in this video. So, let's open uh, the settings on uh, both these devices. About device, we have the OnePlus Nord 5, OnePlus Nord 4. We have the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8S Gen 3 mobile platform, which is really powerful. While we have the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 3, it's uh, the 7 series while this is the 8 series we have 6800 milliamp power battery it's 5500 now both have 12 gigs of ram android 15 and oxygen os 15 but the downgrade is ufs 3.1 on uh, the nord 5 while the 256 gigabyte variant has ufs 4.0 on the nord 4 so that's the differentiating aspect uh, between these two devices so let's uh, see uh, the performance of these devices so let's just close all the apps uh, in the running in the background so there you go, we just closed everything and let's also check the network connections. So both are connected to the same Wi-Fi network, both are in airplane mode as well. So let's start with uh, uh, the testing. So just clearing of all the background apps once again, let's start with Asphalt Unite. So OnePlus Nord 5 is faster compared to the Nord 4. Next is uh, BGMI. We have enabled the performance mode and the game mode on both the devices. Interestingly, Nord 4 has to taken the lead here. And Nord 4 has opened it faster, slightly faster. That's uh, kind of surprising. Play Store, almost same time. Chrome browser, Nord 4 is faster. Facebook, exact same time. Here also exact same time. Instagram, Nord 4 was faster. Spotify, exact same time. Amazon, probably again same time. Flipkart, slightly faster, Nord 5. Files, exact same time. Settings, YouTube, uh, probably same time. Again, slightly faster was Nord 4. Camera, again, exact same time. Maps, uh, you can see a Nord 5 was fa slightly faster. So you could see here, exact same times on most of the apps. So the optimizations on both the devices is really good. UFS 4.1, UFS 3.1. Or rather, if you have 4.0 versus you 3.1, Snapdragon 8 as uh, Gen 3 versus Snapdragon 7 plus Gen 3. So, uh, performance is almost similar on both devices. Excellent performance on these two devices. Uh, now, next, let's see the memory management. So, let's see how good the memory management is on these two devices. So, all the uh, both the devices have uh, uh, 12 gigabyte RAM. So, as of now, all the, the apps are available in the memory. So, let's continue this. So Twitter is available, Facebook is available, Chrome browser is available, BGMI is available and finally Asphalt Unite. Now Asphalt Unite has been reloaded on uh, the Nord uh, uh, 5 while it is being available on the Nord 4. Now that's the uh, memory management. So Nord 4 did have a slight advantage. Probably the uh, software is more optimized. Nord 5 will get, uh, get uh, more updates probably, but still uh, I would say both the devices are pretty good. Now the UFS 4.0 and 3.1 is one of the differences apart from the processor. Now, other than that LPDDR5X RAM and uh, the software experience is exactly the same. So next let's go to the uh, network uh, speed of these two devices. So we connected both the devices to the same server. So we're getting almost similar values. So you can see here nothing much to differentiate between these two devices. Now the synthetic benchmark. So this is one area where the Nord 5 has advantage because uh, uh, the processor is more powerful. You can see here the GPU score, the, G, uh, the CPU score, the GPU score, everything looks uh, better on the OnePlus uh, Nord 5 with the Snapdragon 8S Gen 3. So that is one area where uh, the Nord 5 will have an advantage. 
Next, let's see the storage test of these two devices. So, 1,22,000 UFS 3.1, while this is UFS 4.0, but still not much of difference in terms of uh, UFS speeds. You can see random access uh, is better on uh, uh, the uh, Nord 5 compared to the Nord 4. And uh, sequential read and write is definitely faster on the OnePlus uh, Nord 4. So, that's the differentiating aspect here. So finally, let's uh, see the Geekbench test of these two devices. So we have the test done. So here you can see here, obviously the uh, Snapdragon 8s Gen 3 is uh, more powerful. So you can see that the single core and the multi-core score values are higher uh, on the Nord 5 compared to the Nord 4. So these are two devices uh, with really good hardware. So which of these devices do you like? And if you were to pick one of these devices, which of that would be whether it would be the newly launched OnePlus Nord 5 or uh, would you go with the Nord 4? Do let us know your thoughts in the comment section. This is Normal signing off. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.